Welcome to the Titan Tar Channel. Today we have an incredible topic to discuss about the Su-57 fighter that will have the ability to launch mini drones in the near future. Don't miss the chance to join us and share your opinions with us. Be a member of our channel. The Su-57 fifth generation fighter is about to acquire the ability to use mini drones that will be carried on board the aircraft. These mini UA Versus, developed for various purposes, can be located both in external fixed points and in the aircraft's internal compartment and are subsequently launched into the air. The Su-57 aircraft will have the ability to simultaneously launch a group of drones, which will be centrally controlled by the aircraft itself. The mini UA Versus will perform direct roles, including strike operations, reconnaissance, and electronic suppression of enemy attack weapons. The launch of dozens of drones by the Su-57 aims to advance air defense strategies, overloading enemy information channels and attacking air defense systems, both through drones and their own means of destruction. The accelerated development of unmanned technology, both in the civilian and military spheres in recent years, has been remarkable. In November 2021, Rostec's Director of International Cooperation and Regional Policy predicted that over the next decade, manned combat aircraft would be gradually replaced by unmanned drones. This transition is not only due to the technological advantages of drones, but also the ability for drones and manned aircraft to collaborate. The state-owned company is actively involved in the development of unmanned aerial vehicles capable of interacting and collaborating with the Su-57. This opens up new possibilities for the creation of the concept called Drone Swarm, in which several drones operate in a coordinated manner to perform various tasks under combat conditions. The Su-57 will be capable of carrying more than a dozen reconnaissance, attack drones, and unmanned electronic warfare systems in its internal compartment. These UAVs will interact through secure communication channels, both with systems on board the aircraft and with each other. This approach provides significant advantages, enabling the effective execution of complex missions that were previously challenging for traditional combat aircraft. The swarm of drones can perform tasks such as reconnaissance, attacking targets, maintaining air superiority, and other tactical missions. Previously, the Federal Intellectual Property Service granted a patent to UAC for a two-seater multipurpose aircraft intended to serve as an air control center, facilitating interaction between aviation and military formations through network-centric methods to control weaponry objects on the battlefield. It is anticipated that due to the wide range of communication media, including satellites, high-speed communication channels, and equipment for group information transmission over long distances, the aircraft will also be employed as a control point for unmanned aerial vehicles. Thank you for spending some time with us today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. We look forward to continuing the journey together. To the next.